Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and today we're gonna to be looking at some very adorable animals that I just added to the collective. I feel weird saying adorable, like I'm like, like that's tarantula cat's thing, but these are some pretty cute species, and I really wanted to share them with you. First off, I received a box in the mail a few weeks ago from Nature's Exquisites, and they sent me some very cool isopods that I did not yet have in my collection. So let's check those out. Now I'm using the Terra Sahara substrate because you need a real soil with pieces of wood in it that's gonna decompose. You can't use straight cocoa fiber. A little bit of sphagnum moss to help keep the humidity up. Some leaf litter and biodegradables. A little bit of the bio shot. And you gotta add some lime granules because they come from limestone caves in Thailand and a little distilled water to get it all damp. These are the Cubara species white ducky. And these are the Cubara species Panda King. I told you they were adorable. 
You know, making these YouTube videos is a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work. There's much more that goes into making a YouTube channel than just turning on the camera and filming. That's why I've teamed up with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Skillshare is a great resource to help you learn new skills to support your growing side hustle or even launch into a totally new career. From photography and illustration to graphic design to creating YouTube videos and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. Now, I recently finished a class by Jevin Dovey called YouTube Success, creating an authentic channel with engaging videos videos, and it has taught me a lot about coming up with video ideas that will create value for the viewers and maintain audience retention so I can hopefully make the best videos for you that I can. It is nice because they are ad-free so I can stay in the zone with less distraction. There are new classes launched every week, so there is always something new to learn. If you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or maybe just growing your existing channel, or maybe you just want to discover new ways to develop your creativity, well, I can help you out. The first 1,000 people that use the link down below in my description box or use my code Tarantula Collective will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore and develop new skills and fall back in love with learning. Thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's check out these geckos. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know about these and have seen some photos. I picked these up at the Tri-State Exotic Animal Expo and Oddity Show at the West Virginia State Penitentiary in Moundsville, West Virginia. Now I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time. Time. I've talked about it in multiple videos, even did a collab with Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles where he suggested I should definitely get one. I've got to let you know about crested geckos, maybe one of the most common species in the pet trade with tons of morph that can look very different from each other and very easy to keep. And it took a while, but finally preparation and opportunity crossed paths and I didn't just get one, I actually got two crested geckos. They're still young and they're small, but they are very cool. I'm not a huge crested gecko fanatic fanatic or expert, so I don't really know much about what their lineage is or you know what kind of morph they are or anything like that. I was just super stoked to finally get a crested gecko down here. So I'm very excited to introduce you to them. Now this first one here was a rescue. It came from a couple of ladies that rescue geckos and other reptiles and tarantulas and stuff like that and adopt them out at a small fee. So we are Exotic Awakening and we rescue and rehabilitate um, Presties, any type of reptile, and even tarantulas. He's asleep right now, or she. Uh, it's the middle of the day, so you know it, it, it's probably not happy that I'm moving its enclosure around. But I set it up in a tarantula crib's enclosure because it really helped kind of maintain some of that humidity. It's got top ventilation, cross ventilation, sliding front door. I just, I really like the enclosures, and I wanted to see how it'd work out with a reptile. Let's take a look at him. I really want you guys to meet him. Now this is the other gecko that I got from Gecko Galaxy. They're based out of Huntington, West Virginia. He breeds them and sells them. Most everything I have is, uh, what you call it, uh, pinstripe. So, like this is a full pinstripe right here. Oop. Yeah, that's a full pinstripe. Okay. Yep, and so you see it's got those connecting lines go all the way down the back from the crest all the way to the tail. Yeah. Uh, we would also say it's got some Harlequin pattern too. Um, it's got pattern on the legs, pattern on the sides. This guy's very beautiful, so let's check him out. I keep calling him a guy. I don't know if they're guys or girls yet, but I really want to introduce you all to him. So let's check him out.
a lot of pets down here that I could really get away with calling cute and the majority of people would agree with me. Though I think all of my tarantulas are beautiful. But these isopods and geckos I think have worldwide appeal. They're undeniably adorable. Now if you want to see the video where I picked up these geckos, I will link it right there. And if you want to see me unbox some rubber ducky isopods from Nature's Exquisite, I will link that video right there. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>